Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you've all been having a very happy and productive week. And today being Friday, well at least it's Friday in Australia where I am. So being Friday, it is question of the week time. And if you guys have any study related questions, please leave them down below or send them through on my social media accounts at study with Jess on Twitter and Instagram. But onto today's question of the week. I'm very excited about this one because it's all about delivering an excellent presentation. So this question comes from Chris and he sent through the following question. He says, Hi Jess, I had to give a presentation earlier this year and found it really hard. How can I make sure my next presentation goes well? Thanks a lot, Chris. So Chris, I've started to do a lot more public speaking than I used to. I've never had a fear of public speaking. It still makes me a little bit nervous, but it's definitely something that I love to challenge myself with and I'm always improving on and really trying to get more into the public speaking arena. So I'm really enjoying that because I get to engage with different people all the time and talk to students, talk to staff, faculty, teachers, a whole array of different people. And I've learned quite a few tips that have really helped me to improve in my presentation skills over the last year or so. So I wanted to share them with you today and I hope that you find them helpful. Now I've got them all written down on my phone because there are actually quite a lot of them. But the first one I wanted to say was to make sure that your content is always relevant to the topic that you're discussing. So it can be easy to sometimes veer off track. So I find that I've even veered off track when filming a YouTube video, but perhaps you guys just haven't noticed luckily because I get to edit those bits out. However, it is really important that you actually write down the topic or the subject or the question that you're going to tailor your presentation around and constantly make sure that every piece of information is directly relating to and supporting that topic because otherwise things might seem like they make sense to you but then the audience members might be getting really lost and think that you're going off on a tangent so be very mindful of that. Another thing I can suggest and this is something that I do all the time is to engage with the audience. Now this is first off going to make the audience enjoy the presentation a lot more and feel like they're getting something out of it but it also actually helps to I guess act as icebreakers and make you feel more comfortable too. So make sure that you actually ask them questions or get them to think about a time when they felt like they were in a certain situation that relates to the topic you're discussing. Get them to get up and do something, give them an activity as well. I usually start my presentations off with some sort of icebreaker or some sort of activity to get the audience involved and I find that that really does work very well and it really boosts the engagement too. Now this next tip is one that I have really struggled with for a while and someone pointed it out to me and it's something that I'm now very mindful of when I do rehearse and deliver a presentation, but it's tone. So I seem to have a very, as I've been told, dynamic way of delivering a presentation where everything is exciting, everything is upbeat, I talk really quickly, and I notice I do that in my YouTube videos a lot, so I'm, I'm well aware. I actually do read your comments and I get comments saying things like, Jess, you talk really quickly, or why do you always seem so happy? And Honestly, it's just how I deliver information. I can't help it, but I'm trying. So think about it like a story or a movie where it's not always really intense the whole time. You're not always on the edge of your seat unless you're watching a horror movie. There's, there's times where there's suspense being built or there's times where an issue happens and there's a problem or there's a resolution or there's an argument. And then there's fun times and happy times. So it really does change the way that you see the characters interact with one another. The story isn't just constantly boring and flat or constantly evoking levels of anxiety or excitement, it does change because that light and shade throughout your presentation helps to really emphasize and magnify those points that you want to stand out. So that's really important. Think about how you can integrate that into your next presentation too. Now I also wanted to give you some pointers on how to manage anxiety when it does come to presentations because I think when we feel nervous, we're likely to perhaps talk really quickly or look down and not engage in eye contact either and I didn't want to give you just the boring common sense ones like rehearse and look in a mirror and make sure you have palm cards all those things do work but I feel like you guys already know that and I feel like I've already talked about that in a previous video about giving a presentation so something that really helps me to feel more comfortable regardless of whether I'm presenting to 20 people or 500 people because that can be quite daunting at times is to remember that each person sitting in front of you 
that's an individual. They have their own challenges in life. They have their own situations that they're going through. That's another person, that's a human being, and they're not there to judge. We are all going through this amazing journey of life together, and we shouldn't be afraid to get up and speak in front of other people. So remember that even if you're giving a presentation, whether it's in school or you're a little bit older and you're presenting to a conference or at a seminar or you're getting up and talking to even just a handful of people, to remember to really humanize them and not just see them as another pair of eyes looking at you and going to be judging you because they're not. That's another person that is someone's sister, someone's mum, someone's daughter, that's someone that you know, maybe has had a really bad day or maybe they've had a fantastic week or maybe they're going through a breakup or they're feeling really stressed about their presentation that they have to give. We've all got our own things going on in our heads so don't get too caught up about what others are going to think of you because really we're all in the same boat so I hope that that does help for you to feel a little bit less stressed or anxious when it comes to delivering a presentation because I know that that's really helped me. So Chris, thank you so much for your question of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did, thumbs up. And also don't forget to click the cards up there. I'll leave them up the top so you can click them and check them out and watch some other playlists that I've got going on on my channel too. And check out my study skills book, The High School Survival Guide. There's actually a chapter on delivering a presentation and managing nerves when it comes to oral presentations too. So I hope you find that helpful. I'll leave that in the description box below as well. All right, guys, that's all from me today. So until Monday when I see you for brain food, have a very happy and productive weekend, and I will see you very soon. Bye.